Hi, I'm Dennis Muduri and welcome to another episode of Wagtail Screencast. Over the next screencast, we're going to be learning about Wagtail concepts by attempting to build a clone of the Time Magazine website. In today's tutorial, you learn how to create a page and display its content using Wagtail. To illustrate this, we'll build the Time website's landing page section that displays the top story of the day and other headlines below it. You can follow along the tutorial using the Wagtail application found in the repository highlighted below. Now that we know today's lesson plan, let's get started. Before creating our first page, it's important to know this. Wagtail page types are represented by Django models, which inherit Wagtail's page class. This means that all Wagtail page types can use any field type Django provides. We'll create an article index page model under which our article pages will go. After declaring the class, we provide a content panel list to define the capabilities and layout of the page editing interface in the Wagtail admin. Our list has a field panel which will provide an input control for the editor. I won't go into panels right now, but you can read up on them by checking out the link below. In the field panel constructor, we pass a field defined in the model as a first argument. We haven't explicitly defined a title field in our model because Every Wagtail page type has the title field defined by default. Now that we are done creating the model, let's migrate it to the database and log into the Wagtail admin section. In the Wagtail admin section, we'll select the home page and add the article index page as a child page to it. Since we're cloning the Time website, it's only necessary that we model our fields according to the article structure. The following are the most obvious fields I managed to pick up for us to start with. In time, we'll expand the model as need grows. We'll create it in similar fashion to the article index page model as we define the fields appropriately. Let's migrate the model into the database and head over to the Wagtail admin section to create our first article. Create the article page as a child of the article index page. I'll go ahead and create one top story and give it a feature image. I'll also add two other articles with a thumbnail image and no feature image of camera. When we create a page in Wagtail, it locates the default view template for that model by creating an underscored lowercase version of its name. So since we have a model called homepage.py, its corresponding view template would be called home underscore page dot html. I'm writing out the template using a test-driven development style, so we'll write failing code first, run it, and then fix it. With that understanding, let's visit the homepage template file and add the following tag right below the h3 tag titled the brief. That fails with an invalid block tag because we are registering a custom template tag. Let's fix that. We need to create the module that will contain our custom template tag. So we'll first load it in our template and then create the file in the template tags folder. Next we'll write out the standard Django template tag code and create an empty inclusion tag called top stories.
If we reload the browser, this fails because it can't find the template specified in our inclusion tag. Let's create a blank template file to fix this. And finally, we have a working custom template tag. Inside the template file we created, I'm going to paste in the static version of the views which can be found in the snippets folder. I'd like us to get a feel of how articles will look like. I'll create a for loop to output our stories and add a call the appropriate template for an article depending on whether the article has a feature image or not. We have no articles displaying because the latest stories variable in our loop has nothing. Let's populate it with articles from the database. We'll fetch all the articles that are published using the live method and order them using the latest revision created at field that stores the last modified date of an article. Now that our latest stories variable works, I'll display the top story article from the database. I'll start by replacing the static article URL with one from our article page model. Next we'll display our feature image using Wagtail's image tags. Finally, I'll replace the article title and the excerpt. If we reload the page, we should now see our top story article being fetched from the database. I'll stop here and leave the other static template for you to work on. As you'll notice, our articles aren't displaying in the exact order as the time website, but we'll take care of that next week when we learn about how to use Wagtail snippets. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.